Jenny. And I'm Tanya. And we're the Hungry Bitches. Today we're at the Route 40 Classic Diner in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. And we're about to go inside and see what they have to offer. Hi, Jenny. Hey. Hi, Tanya. Hello. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. Here, here we are today at the Route 40 Classic Diner. And as you'll see, it's very much the look of a classic diner. The atmosphere is very fun. And. Betty Boop on the menu. Yes, we've got Betty Boop on there. Here's the menu. And we're going to look and see what we want to have. Uh, so far, it looks like this is going to be fun. Well, here's Jenny with her beautiful blue hair now. Turn to the side. Turn to the other side. Yes, there she goes. Yeah. And hello today, Tanya. Hello. Well, actually, we have we have placed our order, and um, we were the waitress was very nice, very friendly. Apologized to us for waiting when we hardly waited at all. And um, we ordered our food, uh, our sandwiches. She's having a cheese. Burger. Yes, our sandwiches actually come with the fries, and the prices are really reasonable. So, um, we're going to turn off the gossip a little bit, and then come back to you. We just noticed that there are dinner specials from 4 to 8 p.m. And in case you can't see it, I'm not sure what you see on there. Mondays, it's ribs and wings. Tuesdays, it's prime rib. Wednesdays, veal or chicken parm. Thursdays, steak night. And Friday is fish fry or chef's surprise. We also thought we'd show you a little bit of the menu. Um, maybe you can get an idea of some of the prices and how reasonable they actually are. Um, and when we came in, I saw something about um, milkshakes and sundaes on the sign outside. So. On the back of the menu, we have uh, the history of diners. The history of diners dates back to 1872 when Warner Scott began selling sandwiches, pies, and 30 cent chicken plates at night from a horse drawn freight wagon in Providence, Rhode Island. His idea was so successful that one of his customers, Sam Jones, took the concept to work in Massachusetts in 1884 and decorated his wagons with ornamental stained glass windows. In the same time, Thomas Buckley added chrome fixtures, ceramic tile, marble counters, mirrors, and painted scenes on the outside paneling. His electric trolleys replaced the horse-drawn version, lunch carts took on a railroad walk, and in the late 1800s, Patrick J. Tierney of New Ro Rochelle, New York, brought booths, tables, and even toilets into the cars. He also was the man who first called the lunch wagons diners, and thus linked them to America's love of the railroad. In 2006, after many years of their love for classic diners, Tom Clark Jr. and John Creech Seebeck purchased the Bluebird Diner in Illinois and had it moved to the present location, which is here in Brownsville, Pennsylvania. History lesson. <laughs> yes, you can even get a history lesson. Yeah. Well, Tanya has gotten her food, and it's this nice, lovely burger and fries, and very good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Jenny is sitting here, still waiting for hers, and she's she's gonna pout. Yeah, yeah. Have a fries. How nice. And I have mine right there. Mine is the Pike Burger. Tanya's got the cheeseburger. And Jenny, I forgot what you ordered. I got a chicken and bacon ranch. And it obviously takes a little bit longer. Uh, so far, the food is good. The service is good. The atmosphere is great. And you even have to check out that gorgeous juice box over there. There it is. We wanted to get a shot of that in there. Here is 
Miss Jenny excited please. over finally getting her food. There was a little bit of a wait on it. We're not sure exactly why. It wasn't a terrible, terrible wait, but because our food really did all come fast. When she looked at her there, she's, she's really getting ready to dig into that. It does look delicious. Though. Can you eat it? How am I going to eat it? Mm, let's see. Let's oh, watch it. There she goes. That's, that's the way a true hungry, hungry fish takes it. Yep. She just bites right into it. True bitch. True bitch. <laughs> yep. Right, let's see. How, how's this one doing? Mmm. 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 So like you say, it's mmm, mmm, mmm. Tanya has completely wiped out her meal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jenny has nearly got hers done. Well, she's a teenager. There she is, really one hungry bitch. And I am completely stalled. And if I try to eat any more, I think my stomach's going to explode and there will be a big mess all over this diner. I'm the only one who ate my food. I know. Well, we know which one of you is the... <laughs> which one of us is the real hungry bitch, huh? <laughs> my food is really, really good. My cheeseburger. Yeah. So. Actually, yours was a little smaller than mine. Mine yeah. like, was huge. I think it was like a half pound of meat. Yeah, it was. And there's Jenny. Still enjoying the last of hers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm going to go over and get a shot of that juice box. Hi, we're still here in the Red 40 Classic Diner, and there's someone we want you to meet. Her name's Laura. <laughs> and here is Laura. She's been here a very long time. <laughs> Her head turns. <laughs> She's been here about five months now. <laughs> she she really does not like to get up and leave. She takes some time every day. <laughs> okay, let's get ready and taste it. We are completely done, and Jenny is still shoving in a few spare french fries that I left behind. <laughs> We're getting ready to pay and go home. But we wanted to get everybody's opinion. Tanya, what's yours? Oh, I love it. Yeah, Jenny? <laughs> the food was good. The prices are great. And um, the atmosphere is just amazing. And the people are so friendly. So, we're going to pay. And, although we didn't... <laughs> We didn't order dessert today. Maybe you should. It looks like the dessert's really good, but we're, we're just not having enough room for it. They've got milkshakes. <clears throat> There's um, root beer and orange drinks, different slows, sundaes, banana splits, pies, cakes, funnel cake fries, a lot of good things you might want to try. Uh, we're, we're full, and um, actually, I am a type 1 diabetic. And I use an insulin pump. So I do plan for these outings. And um, I just don't want to overdo it too much at one time. But this is how I handle my life. It's an insulin pump. Best thing that ever happened to me. So when you hear us talking about me bolusing, that's what it's all about. Let's